Hi guys, it's Sunday. I'm currently at the United Nations Conference in Washington DC. It's been really interesting. There are a lot of great speakers. I'm learning a lot of things about the organization, about the UN, about the government. At first I didn't think it was going to be very exciting, but it turned out to be quite interesting. As of the past week in New York, I arrived on Thursday and I spent pretty much the whole day in Rye. On Friday we had our first intern meeting, so I met all the other interns. Uh, afterwards, David and I went and met up with Tom and we went to the Whitney Museum of something or another. Then we went to try and see him Manhattan Henge. It's like Stonehenge in that the sun lines up with the grid system of New York so you can stand on one end of the street and see the sun set at the other end of the street which is really cool except it was really cloudy so we couldn't really see anything. On Monday David and I went to see The Tempest at Shakespeare in the Park. It was in the evening and it was raining and cold but there was this constant mist in the air and the way that the stage lighting lit up the water droplets that were being blown around by the wind created this constant stormy feel which was just so in line with what the Tempest is. It was really cool, but unfortunately because of the rain they only did the first act. Which was okay because they gave us time to go and see a comedy show called Whiplash, which had a number of performers. Some of them were kind of miserable, some of them were really great, so that was a good time. It was free, which is also nice. Then on Tuesday I went to check out a live blues dive bar event. There was live music, the band was really great, and I met some people there who then invited me to another blues night on Wednesday, which I went to with Tom and his friend Rachel, and that was really nice. It felt a lot like the Claremont blues scene. It was definitely fun and interesting, and I'm hoping to go to that every week, get my weekly full of blues. Wednesday was my first day at the office. I had two projects assigned to me, one of which has to do with healthcare provided to LGBT people who are seeking asylum in the United States and that was really interesting except the person who was in charge of the project wasn't there that day so I just did kind of general research and every Thursday we have a one hour office meeting and afterwards David and I went to see Tomorrowland which was a really nice movie. It's definitely among my top favorite live action Disney movies ever so that was just kind of, kind of nice to watch a feel good movie for once and after that we went to a thing called Rooftop Films and that night they had a series of shorts from Sundance Film Festival. Some of them were kind of weird. Actually a lot of them were really weird. And some were hilarious, some were really sad, you know. And then on Friday was my second day of work. I finally knew what I was researching, so I did a lot more detailed research on that. Friday was also National Donut Day. There were a lot of places around New York who were just giving out free donuts. So on my way to work, I picked up two free donuts. And then Saturday morning, I woke up bright and early. I took a train to the airport and flew to DC. On my way from the DC airport to my hospital, I saw an advertisement for something called Potted Potter. So when I got to the hospital, I found a showtime that was in 45 minutes from when I was reading the showtime. So I went to see the show and it started out kind of slow but about 20 minutes in it started really picking up and there was a giant game of Quidditch in which the entire audience was involved and they squirted water on the audience. One guy covered his entire face with chocolate cake. It, it went from here to like there within about 10 minutes. In the end it was really quite hilarious and I really couldn't stop laughing. So I'm glad I went to that and then I tried to go to sleep at like 11 and I didn't fall asleep for hours because the guy below me started snoring so that kept me up for another like three hours. Not really but it felt like it. And then I had to wake up at 7 o'clock to make it to the conference by 7.30. I got here and I helped set up and check people in and so far it's been really interesting and I just snuck off for 10 minutes to a conference room in a far corner of the building to film this and now I'm gonna go back for the next meeting and I will see you all next week.